And we are back. The Hakone Gardens is a well-known attraction in the Bay Area and a very unique place. It is the oldest Japanese and Asian estate retreat and gardens in the Western Hemisphere. 18 acres of beauty in the Saratoga Hills, a site listed on the National Trust for Historic Preservation, and it's about to celebrate its 100th year. Joining me is Connie Young Yu. She's a historian and a trustee for the Hakone Foundation Organization. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, as you heard me say earlier, and we were talking before, you know, I love Hakone Gardens. My family, you know, have been going there for years and things like that. But for people who don't know that much about it, tell us a little bit. You're celebrating your 100th year. So tell us a little bit about how it got established and what it was all about. The story of Hakone begins in 1915 at the Pan Pacific International Exposition in San Francisco. Isabel Stein and her husband, Oliver Stein, who were patrons of the arts and uh, philanthropists uh, were very involved with uh, the exposition, which was really a world's fair. Isabel Stein goes to the Japanese pavilion, which is one of the, was one of the largest pavilions at the fair. She was so enthralled by the exhibits, particularly the garden exhibits, she wanted her own country estate and gardens, an authentic Japanese garden. Well, she certainly yeah. got that at the beginning. How did it evolve from there? Well, th uh, the following year, in 1916, Isabel Stein goes to uh, Japan to visit historic Japanese gardens. She falls in love with the Fuji Hakone uh, Garden District, and she names. She decides she's going to name her own estate after Hakone, and uh, she returns to. Saratoga. She owns property in Saratoga and uh, she retains the top Japanese uh, architect and landscaper from Japan and other gardeners and decides to build her own Japanese uh, country estate in Saratoga. So that was in 1917. So Hakone Foundation is celebrating our centennial over a period of three years because there's a lot to celebrate. Taking it from that point, what were the guiding forces that kind of moved Hakone Gardens from that initial time to where it ended up today? Well, um, Isabel Stein was a, a Renaissance woman. She was a patron of the arts. She wanted to have cultural events um, at Hakone. She had the first, the premiere of, uh, the West Coast premiere of Madame Butterfly was at Hakone. No. And she was a sponsor of the San Francisco Opera Guild. So she was, um, uh, she had uh, haiku readings. She had uh, uh, archery demonstrations, Japanese archery demonstrations. She loved Japanese culture. And uh, she uh, also wanted her family to enjoy the estate. So uh, in the summer, her children uh, had summer vacations there. They invited uh, many friends and guests, and uh, it was um, it was her her private retreat. But she also um, opened it up quite a bit to the the local community. Yeah, and to this day, it is a popular place amongst the community. We were seeing some really beautiful pictures of Hakone Gardens. How do you celebrate a hundred years? Oh, how do we celebrate? Well, our kickoff is um, uh, this month. We have. Um, uh, a beautiful exhibit and it's going to, it's uh, held at a place called the Cultural Exchange Center which is a replica tea merchant's house and it's uh, uh, close to the antique house you know the, the hundred year old house the lower house and uh, we have this exhibit which shows the early garden of Isabel Stein and also memorabilia and photographs from her own collection of the Pan Pacific Exposition, which inspired her to create this Japanese garden. And very quickly, you have a very much a solid family connection yes, to the place, I, right? Yes, I do. Just wanted to say that this video that is also shown at uh, uh, accompanying the exhibit is called Hakone Centennial, A Century of Beauty and Endurance. It's made by Barry Fong, and it begins with Isabel Stein's vision and the ownership by the Tilden family, Charles Tilden of the Tilden Park mm -hmm. fame owned it. And after that, it was owned by um, four Chinese American families and two Sarantogan couples. Um, and uh, my parents, John and Mary Young, and my uncle and aunt, uh, the Halls, were 
in that partnership. Wow. So I knew Hakoni Gardens when it was a private retreat. And you'll be celebrating as well then. Yes. Connie, thank you very much for being here. It's a pleasure. Well, in a sense, there's always celebrations going on at Hakoni Gardens, but the next public tea ceremony will actually be taking place today, March 15th, and the gardens are open 10 to 4 on weekdays and 10 to 5 on weekends at 21,000 Big Basin Way in Saratoga. And next on our show, Puppy Dog Tales, promoting animals and literacy, coming up right after this.